Hello, and welcome to another edition of Inquisitive Analyst. Today, I will be talking to Amy Chu. But first, I just want to explain a bit about the importance of what Amy Chu will talk about. Amy Chu is a Toastmaster, and Toastmasters is a group one can join, anyone can join, to improve their communication and leadership skills. And particularly because this show is about project managers and business analysts, communication is a vital part of the role of a, of a PM or a PA. So Amy today will talk about a bit about Toastmasters and how she joined it and, and the value that it gives her. So welcome to the show, Amy. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to share my experience as a Toastmaster with everyone. Yes, and we're all excited to, to get to know you a bit more about your, your background in Toastmasters. So maybe we can start off by, by asking, what motivated you to join Toastmasters? Yes, I joined Toastmasters seven years ago. And my initial thought was to have more confidence and improve my communication skill. So that's the top two motivation for me, have more confidence and improve my communication skill. At that time, I just entered a new company that's a completely new environment. I'm getting to know my peers. I'm getting to know my job. And I feel that because I am not a native speaker, native English speaker, I and from Taiwan, so I speak Mandarin and English is my second language. So I always have the feeling that I couldn't communicate as well as other native speaker. And it kind of hinder me in the workplace to perform well. So the reason, top reason I joined Toastmaster is to build, build more confidence and improve my communication skill. However, throughout my Toastmaster journey, in addition to these two benefits, again, I also am able to build other skills, like more leadership skill, my training or coaching skill, or even you know, other different area in terms of networking skill, et cetera, which I would like to elaborate further later. Well, that's great. Well, thank you. That's that's wonderful. And what's very important that you mentioned is uh, that you're not a native speaker. So Toastmasters is there for native and non-native speakers. And particularly, uh, we didn't mention, but Amy, Amy actually is from Connecticut, from Connecticut in the U.S. And so for many people who do immigrate to America or even to Canada, which is where I'm from, uh, they could join Toastmasters if they feel that they want to build some degree of, of confidence or, like you said, coaching or improve their communication skills through, yes. through joining, joining Toastmasters. Yes. Let me elaborate this further. You are absolutely correct. I'm in the Northeast Connecticut area. So the club I joined is an open club. It's open to everyone. And I, even though I'm a non-native speaker, however, in my club, half of our members are native speaker. So initially I was curious that you as American, other American, why they join Toastmaster? And it turned out that people join for different reasons. My reason is to improve communication, but there are some people who join to improve their public speaking skill. They want to overcome their fear to, do public speaking. And there are some people, yes, they can speak very well English, but they cannot communicate very well. So you can speak a language doesn't directly relate to you can communicate very well. So I feel this is two things. And I learned clearly from Toastmaster that how we can better communicate. It includes active listening, but also be able to express our thought and opinion in a clear, organized way. And that's the benefit of Toastmaster. And that's also why a lot of native English speakers also join Toastmaster. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, no, it's true. And structuring a speech is very important. You know, understanding how to have an introduction, how to have a body, and how to have a conclusion and put those together. And you're right, even for ma many native speakers, that's something they, that they struggle with. So Toastmasters will certainly help with that. So, so maybe 
you can elaborate also on what, what type of value do members get from Toastmasters? You mentioned a bit about, about them improving, obviously, the structure of the speech, but maybe you can, you can add on um, the value that it gives other people, but also the value that it's given yourself. And you briefly mentioned about coming from um, you know, Taiwan and, and being able to improve. But is there anything else, any other values that, that, sorry, any other value that Toastmasters can give its members? Yes, absolutely. This actually way beyond just building confidence and being able to communicate. Otherwise, I won't stay there until seven years, until now for seven years, and I plan to stay forever. It's a lot of value beyond that. So I will summarize the value I gain from Toastmasters into five areas. First is confident communication. Second is public speaking skill. It helped me overcome fear of public speaking. Third is the leadership skill. I can elaborate further. Toastmasters is an organization that help members improve public speaking and leadership skill. So leadership is a very important piece in our Toastmaster journey. So th this is the third benefit I gain from Toastmaster. The fourth, actually, I thought it's also a wonderful thing. It's actually networking. I make a lot of great friends from Toastmaster who are in different professions in different industries. And Toastmaster in, in this environment that we can hear everyone's life, hear everyone's speeches, and everyone share what they want to share. So they bring me to share with you the fifth value I gain from Toastmaster. That is a learning opportunity. Every meeting, I listen to at least two or three different speakers share their life journey. And I have the chance to learn from people sharing their life journey, sharing their professional expertise, sometimes share their traveling journey, share their passion. So those are five benefits, confident communication, leadership, networking, public speaking, and learning. And I can yeah. elaborate further about all any of this. <laughs> that's, no, that's, that's fantastic. And I, actually networking is, is a vital component, which a lot of people may not understand. It's like joining a professional group is what mm -hmm. Toastmasters is. And there are many of them out there, but Toastmasters has been around for just 94 years or so. It's almost 100 years, quite long. And so they're, they're deeply rooted in so many different communi communities around the world. And mm -hmm. they build now with everything being online, you know, your, your network can just, can just expand and expand fast. So uh, mostly, yeah, I would say definitely joining Toastmasters, one vital component, like you mentioned, is definitely by networking. So what, what type of contributions have you made to Toastmasters? Maybe you can talk to us a bit about that. Yes, I was a club officer for one year and I am the mentor and coach for several members. And this last year I was the area director and this year I am the currently the division director. So this role, it bring me to share about the leadership opportunity in Toastmaster. So that's my contribution. And the reason I want to talk about that is that after I gain benefit from Toastmaster in terms of building my confidence in speaking in front of group people and being able to overcome my fear to do public speaking. And this new thing I learned, I grew up, it directly helped me improve my work relationship with my peers also help in my personal life. So because I get so much benefit from Toastmaster, I also want to give back to others, give back to the community. Toastmaster is a very, very supportive environment. So naturally, human nature, if I gain something, I want to also share with others. That's why it bring me to step up for this leadership role as a club officer, as a mentor, or as an area division director. In club officer level, what I do is that I support our club and support our club member. We meet every week. Some club meet every other week. 
So you can think about it as like a club in college or in university. It's an organization. You will need someone, a few people come together to organize an event, organize an event meeting. And we will have a host. We will have a different leadership rule who feel in every meeting to make a meeting successful. So a club officer is to help club function and help club growth and also help member develop their public speaking skill and leadership skill. So just similar as any organization, you always have a leader to maintain the operation of the organization. That's the club officer level. And me being a coach, or a mentor is just because I learn so much from Toastmaster, I gain so much from Toastmaster. I feel like I want to share with other members. So now I'm a seasonal Toastmaster. If there are newer members who join, who have no idea what Toastmaster is and who have no idea how it works, I am the one who speak with them one-on-one -on -one basis. I share with them how to start the Toastmaster journey. Sometimes I practice their speeches with them and I give them guidance how to improve their speech, to build an organized speech, to have an open body closing or to make an inspirational speech. Sometimes I encourage them to step up for the leadership role. So that's me as a club coach or as a mentor to support members. And the third thing I mentioned is the area director and division director role. So just like any organization, there are clubs, the many clubs form an area, several areas form a division. Then we have district, we have international level. So I step up, go beyond my club level and step up as the area and division director. They give me opportunity to make a bigger impact. So when I was a club officer, I only support my club member, maybe 30, 40 people. When I was the area director, I support four club. So each club will have 20, 30 members. So I have more people to support. I am coordinating the training program with them. I'm sharing with them any leadership opportunities. I'm giving them guidance in terms of uh, their challenges. I can offer any help. And similarly, as a division director this year, in addition to support club on a daily basis, I will also have the opportunity to conduct the training, conduct training for club officers, and also conduct speech contests. Toastmaster every year we organize speech contests. So I support club and area to conduct speech contests. And all of this, it's not one person job. I'm not the one person who do everything. So when I said leadership skill, it's a key for me to learn from Toastmaster is that we learn how to work with others efficiently and effectively to get things done. And in order to work with others to get things done, communication skill is also very important. So I feel that these are our transferable skill we can use in our professional and personal life. Communication, leadership, working with others, get things done, organize any kind of event. So all of this, I feel uh, the contribution I have made to Toastmaster. And these are also things I am very passionate about. And that's why I really enjoy this opportunity to share my journey with everyone. Well, thank you. Thank you, Amy. Yes, actually, it's great that you mentioned the mentorship because mentorship is a vital component of Toastmasters as well. Each club has a mentorship program where new people who might need some form of guidance can, can get a mentor. And now maybe just briefly, you can explain how long the mentorship program is with your club with some clubs, I know it's six months, sometimes it's a couple of months. Mm -hmm. Maybe, is there a length of time that your mentorship program goes for? Yes, thank you for asking this question. Um, Toastmaster, each club actually have different way to manage mentorship program. My club actually doesn't really have a very set way. Initially, when I joined the club, 
I was paired with a mentor whom I feel connect with. So even though after a year, supposedly we can move on to a different mentor or our mentorship relationship would come to the end. I feel like I want to stay in touch with my mentor and my mentor also feeling the same. She's there to help me. So we actually continue our relationship. Now it's seven years in a row. She's still my mentor. Whenever I prepare a speech, I will consult with her. But on the other hand, because now I'm also more experienced. So she also come to me for support. Mm -hmm. Whenever she needs to practice a speech, she will also practice with me. So initially it's a mentor mentee relationship now now we become more like a support uh, accountability partner kind of relationship so that's my personal mentorship experience however in my club yes we do have a mentorship coordinator and for each new member who join who say they want a mentor our mentorship coordinator, we will actually reach out to seasonal or more experienced Toastmaster and pair that newer member with a mentor. And from there, that's up to mentor and mentee to coordinate a, a method a communication and a date or time for them to work together. In terms of how they want to work together, it's really up to mentor and mentee individually. So I would say, there is really no set rule. I feel that everyone just need to find a way they work for themselves and work for their mentor and mentee. And, but very importantly, I really suggest everyone to be very, very proactive. If you are a mentee, you take control in reaching out to your mentor and to let your mentor know that what are the help you need. And this is very important. Of course, if I'm mentee, I'm the one who set up the meeting. I'm the one who reach out to my mentor and let my mentor know that what I need from her or from him to help me. Okay, so this is, it's a very much a win-win situation or it definitely can be for both parties, but in the it's real, really the incentive, the initiative should come from the mentee to, to uh, want to continue or want to start a, a mentor program. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe I should also ask you, how has Toastmasters helped you in your career and, and how has it contributed to your growth as a, as a leader? Yes, I thank you for asking this question. And that's why it can me stay in Toastmasters, because it kind of benefit me so much. I want to bring this uh, answer back to seven years ago when I first joined Toastmasters, because the benefit at that time is different from the benefit I gained this year. So it's a different story again. So I am going to share a different story. So initially, as I mentioned earlier, I joined Toastmaster to improve my confidence and my communication skill. So in the very early years, early first two years when I joined Toastmaster, the immediate impact I see in my career is that I was able to voice my opinion in a timely manner and to share my input and suggestion and make an impact more efficiently. The reason I said that is that oftentimes I'm, I was initially I was sitting in a meeting and my peer are discussing a topic and I have some thought, I have some idea. I thought it's a valuable idea that I should really raise my voice to point it out. But by the time I want to say it, they already carry on to the next topic. So I remember there a few there were a few times that I share my opinion with my manager after the meeting. And my manager was asked, asked me, why didn't you say that in the meeting? I said, because I didn't have a chance to say that. I just didn't have that courage or that I couldn't raise my voice timely, you know, to jump into a discussion. And this actually is the first thing Toastmaster helped me because it helped me to better organize my thought quickly and be able to communicate out. And this is about being an evaluator. In the Toastmaster meeting, we have evaluator rule, but also we have a table topic 
that led us to speak impromptuly for one to two minutes. So from evaluator training, from table topic training, I was able to voice my opinion in a timely manner. And this really impact a lot in my work performance. I was able to raise my voice, my opinion efficiently to make an impact in my job. And the second thing is that it helped me better in training and facilitating the discussion because I have more confidence. So now I can lead a training. I can lead a meeting. I can facilitate a discussion with a group of people because I'm not afraid of speaking out. I'm not afraid of coordinating a meeting with five people, 10 people, 20 people. So it really make an impact in my career, in the early stage of my career. And I'm also be able to uh, listen, you know, active listening. This is also very important because being an evaluator in the Toastmaster meeting, we need to listen carefully. We need to be present. present. And so active listening is the key to a good communication. And after active listening, I'm able to properly express my thought with my peers and also my clients and get my voice heard. So these are the benefits I gain from Toastmaster that directly impact my work performance in the early stage, early years. And now in the recent years, I must say, it really also helped me a lot because in the past few months, I'm actually in my career transition. In my career transition, it's very important for me to network and also for me to be able to express myself, express my experience, express my journey very well, very effectively during the interview process. And how do I do that? Networking, I was able to network better. I'm not afraid to speak to strangers. And I can make, even make a call call and send the email to strangers, I'm not afraid. Or even in any kind of meeting, I meet someone for the first time, I am able to ask the question to get the information I need. So Toastmaster really helped me improve my networking skill. The second thing is my interview skill. Just because I have so many practice from Toastmaster experience. So I am also able to practice my interview skills, even in my Toastmaster meeting. And my peers, Toastmaster friends, give me feedback to improve my interview skill. And that directly help me do better in the job interview. So I thought this is really awesome. I really love Toastmaster because all different benefits I get. And another thing is that also in the recent year, the reason I'm able to step up for the area director and division director role is that it's because of confidence, right? I know I can do it. I know I can do better. And I know that I have the skill set to do it. I can communicate better. So I'm able to take on a bigger leadership challenge to organize event, coach, train others to solve problems. And with all of this, I think these are all the skills that carry on with us in our lifelong journey. So that's why I feel that it's not only help me in my career, but also help me in my personal life. That's fantastic. Yeah, I think the evaluation part is also very important too. Giving feedback, receiving feedback, because you're not only able to analyze other people, but other people are able to analyze your speeches and give, <laughs> you, give you an understanding of the way you're communicating. Do other people understand you the way you think they understand you? And yes. so I think, I think that feedback is really, really important. Yes. Okay. And one more thing is that oh, yeah. with, the, with the opportunity to do public speaking, as I said, Previously, one of the benefits I said is the learning. I am able to learn everything other people share. Some people share their financial expertise. Some people share real estate expertise. Some people share their health and beauty expertise because of their passion or their profession. But I was able to also share my passion 
I have a different passion that's about green action and sustainability. And I'm so passionate about that that I implement green action, I implement sustainability um, actions in my daily life. And I actually put that into a speech, very short, five to seven minute speech. And I do that again, again, again. The impact is actually dramatic. Think about that. In a meeting, if I give a speech, an inspirational speech, a speech call for action, call for people to take action to eliminate waste, eliminate plastic waste. In a meeting, if there are 30 people, if one people make take in what I share and make the action, take the action and do it, I think this is a good achievement. So I have been doing that a lot. Every time, whenever I have opportunity to give a speech, we can speak on any topic of our choice. I talk about sustainability and it directly or indirectly make an impact to inspire others to take action on doing things, doing the right things. So that's why also it makes me very happy. <laughs> so, so the cool thing is, the really cool thing is, some people might be, if they join Toastmasters, they might say, well, I have to talk about something that, you know, I don't really understand. No, that's not the case. You can talk about something that you're already in as a profession. And you yes. can just bring that into Toastmasters and expand on it during uh, speeches. Yes, yes. Oh, I have a colleague. Um, recently, I have a, a club member. He actually need to do a presentation for his client. And he need to practice. So he actually practiced twice in our club and all of us giving feedback. And later on, he told us that he got a deal. He got the client to sign a deal because, because of his presentation. Strange. And he got oh. him so excited. So that's why we would rather practice and screw up in the Toaster Matter meeting than in the actual WordPress. I would bring all my work presentation, whatever I can share, to practice in the Toastmaster and get feedback and get better, right? So I think this is another benefit of Toastmaster. So you're practicing in an open and supportive environment. And that's the part, that's the important part too. Yes. So no, no one is being critical. People are giving you positive feedback. Yes. That's, that's the important part. Because some people might think, oh, they're going to go in it and they're going to be criticized by the center. That's not the case. No, no. Um, I think people learn how to take feedback. And also, we are also learning how to give constructive feedback. So this is actually a skill. Toastmaster now is not only a place that you practice how to say things, how to voice your opinion, but also how you provide feedback, they can be well received by others. So it directly transferred to my skill to coach or mentor or train others. Hmm. So, so this is also very important. Mm -hmm. No, that's true. That's very much true. So if someone is interested, people watch this show and they go, I really want to join Toastmasters. How can they go about, you know, how can anyone who's interested join Toastmasters? Yes, there are three ways, I would say, very simple, you just Google Toastmaster. So you Google Toastmaster, it will pop up, toastmaster.org is an organization, nonprofit organization. In their website, you can search, click, search a club, and you just search a club in your neighborhood, you search by your zip code, by your region, by your city, by your town, and then you click, the search result and you can click several search results and get in touch with that and usually you just need to get in touch with the club officer and they will share with you their club meeting time their club meeting link and if there's any communication they will communicate with you the first step is to find a club and get in touch with them and just go visit and what i want to encourage everyone to do is to visit as many clubs as possible and you can visit and visit and visit a few times until you feel comfortable. And again, it's a nonprofit organization and each club still functions differently. That's why I am visiting a lot of clubs now we are all in the virtual world. And I learned so much from different clubs because I noticed the other clubs function differently from my club. The 
call structure is the same. How we operate the meeting is the same. But but sometimes there are still things that we do things differently. And I feel that as a newer member, as a guest, you need to find an environment that match your style and that you feel comfortable with. In order to do that, you just need to give it a try. The first thing is try. I really encourage everyone, you just need to try. If you don't try, the chance to succeed is zero. If you try, at least there's a 50% you will succeed. So just give it a try, reach out to the club, and visit club as many times as possible, and visit as many clubs as possible, and get the feeling, and uh, talk to the officers, and understand how they function. If you have any questions, just ask. Don't hesitate to ask questions and find a club that you feel comfortable with. Great. So each club has its own dynamics yes. and that gives it sort of a, a sense of uniqueness. So some people might join, say, even two clubs, three clubs, you would say. Mm -hmm. Okay. As opposed to, you don't have to be limited to join just one. You can join multiple clubs. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Is there any closing item you would like to? to leave with us before we, yes. we go. Yes, definitely. I feel that this is something that really benefit me a lot. And when people hear about public speaking or leadership, people may think, I don't need it. Maybe I'm not in the leadership role, I don't need it, or I don't do public speaking, I don't need it. But no, it's actually way more than that. As I say, these two not even was not even my initial motivation. I simply want to build my confidence, improve my communication, and we communicate every day, right? We communicate our lifelong journey with anyone, everyone, and we listen, we communicate. So Toastmaster is really a supportive, friendly environment for us to improve these transferable skills that we can carry on in our professional and personal life. And I really encourage everyone to give Toastmaster a chance and give it a try and just have fun. Really, really have fun. <laughs> okay, that's great. Yeah, having fun. That's the key. It's all about improving your skills, but while they're having fun at the same time. Yes. Well, that's that's fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Amy. I'm sure that you and people at uh, the audience has gleaned a lot about Toastmasters, how to join it and and what what it's all about. So thank you for, for uh, attending at this inquisitive analyst meetup and many, many thanks for your time. It's my pleasure, thank you. Okay, take care, thank you, bye. Bye.